Bethesda is the go. I've done it. We got a Bethesda. You've done it. Go. Bethesda is the. Hey, buds. How you doing? Good. <laughs> we got an early miss press. Love that. All right. Here's your first. Uh, so you're going to want to take this room slow. Um, we have yet to see our threat. That is convalescence. It's Do I want to bottle that? Yeah, maybe you want a little bit of it, but uh, it's definitely not the major issue here. Major issue is that we cannot currently see the threat. Oh, I saw a splish. I saw a splash. Do you want to go northwest? Oh, you're, 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 oh, no, we don't want to do that. There's an easier way of doing this. Do pour. Can't believe we're doing this. This is the first thing we're doing. Yeah, put it in your water skin. 64 drams. There you go. Done. Now you have 64 drams of convalescence. All right. Oh. Um, okay. That thing? That is not the thing. No, that is, a, that is a side effect of the thing. We're not yet seeing the thing. We can have a look at it. Luminous troll foal. I don't know how to pronounce that. I've never known how to pronounce that. Full sense, right? There that it thing? is. There they are. Have a look at that, lad. Parts limbs. Oh, he wants my limbs. Hated I'm by good to kill him? Uh, he hated, but yeah, we're very good to kill him. I mean, this is your first run through Bethesda, Sue, so you don't have to try and make friends with trolls. Um... You might want to have read the flavor text because it's quite good, but yeah, we don't have to. The troll called Jotun slumps beneath the weight of his broad and cragged back, soaking fibers of inky, unkept hair on. Wah! The great pale rocks that are his shoulders cross over his chest are two carbide axes. Their shafts knurled, knurled, <laughs> and rotting with rust, Jotun's rumpled eyelids lay half shut over the discs of his sluggish eyes as he reclines in his bath of convalescence. He's a swarm alpha! He is, and it's actually good to note that because um, the more troll foal are around, and by the way, he spawns the troll foal. Um, the more of them that are around, the easier for him to hit you. He throws axes. Those axes will hurt you a lot. Hitting him from range is still what you want to do, though. So what you're doing right now is great. He is, uh, you might notice, getting plus one. That's because he's waiting in convalescence, which actually has natural healing benefits. What you're doing is just fine. It's basically the best thing you can do against this guy. I feel like I should have gone with more bullets for this. I know um, you're... I, I feel like you would not be hitting him as much. I really... And also, you wouldn't be hitting him as hard, because you, like... The sniper rifle has higher pen, and so it does more damage. You've almost killed him. I should him. run soon, right? Soon, but you're good for now. You can take a couple of, of his throwing axes. If you can kill him before he reaches melee, then that is perfect. Getting close. Ouchie, ouchie. Oh, I'm going to run. Yeah, not, not a bad idea. Now's a good time. You're always going for the bad. Bad. You did it. You killed the first troll. Well, water barons like me. Yeah, they, they, and also Kyakyuka, which uh, we haven't been there yet, but it's a good village to be friends with. You don't have to worry about the, the foal. They're mostly there to give him the buff of Swarm Alpha. You've done it. And uh, you can pick up his throwing axes. It's a, actually quite a rare item. It's, I think, the only known uh, throwing, like, major melee weapon like that. Um, it's, they're not special, really. They just, they're special to him. Oh, you, uh, did we? Yeah, you're going to have to, you're going to want to go to his corpse because he has something important that you need. We. We. The key. The key. He also has two-handed folded carbide battle axes. He was wielding them one-handed each. The troll, 
The troll does not mess around. Do I want this? You can take him if you want. I, I don't... The only reason I'm saying... To, so, um... I'm running through Bethesda Susa in my current run, like, right now. We've actually caught up to my current playthrough. Um... And I have... Remember I told you about the Beatles? Before you go down... Um... I'll finish the story later. The next room is going to be equally spicy as this one. Although we took this one on very easily. Yeah, you go go ahead. I just wanted to prepare you. Um, yeah. So... The pools don't heal me, do they? Yeah, they do. But oh. uh, you don't have any damage. They don't heal for a lot. It's just like one one health per round they're actually good for cooking with convalescence is pretty good for cooking with so you might notice there's that's another... what i i thought you might be better off heading north a little so you can see them as quickly as you can there they are the second troll they're gonna have different reputation but they will still be loved by trolls a lattice wick of frost sticks to furing gearsif's coarse beard and bushy brown hair oh it's me the great bony slab of his head is obscured behind his icy breath. Still me. And swathing his anemic, fish-shaped arms. Yep. And long strands of icy... Still me. <laughs> Warm. Alpha. Like by cats. <gasps> I can get in with cats. There He's going go. down. So this guy is very different. Um, he doesn't really have too many ranged attacks, but uh, he can hurt you quite a bit. He can actually freeze you to death. But Same, we've got buddy. the range... Yeah, honestly, the same method works quite well here. He ducked oh, behind that pillar. That one guy that was hoping for, uh, hoping to see you get trolled is going to be highly disappointed, I think. Because you're taking the trolls very easily. Critical hit. Wounded. He's not even, like, coming towards you. You've got this in the bag. You've yeah. done it. Cats are indifferent to me. Yay! We're on our way. <laughs> We're on our way to being able to pet cats. If you, if you could uh, actually manage to pet a kittenist uh, puna, puma. All right, second troll down. Doom. I love the music so much in Bethesda Susa. There's our silver key. And off we go. Is this next floor also spicy? Yes, it is the third of the three spicy rooms. Now this one is particularly weird but you actually already have the keys to the kingdom without even having done anything there he is so you see that lad there yeah the fact that you can see him right now is very unusual Hagaba. I see umbral path the wraith troll a shade of a shade Hagaba is discernibly only as a shadow that is somehow darker than the absence of light yeah, so this this troll is a menace to a lot of people's playthrough of Cud. Um, generally speaking, they're invisible. Completely. The fact that you can see them is a complete stroke of luck because I told you to take night vision goggles as you're starting cybernetic. That's one of the only ways you can actually see them is with night vision. I actually only discovered this recently because I rolled through here and I was trying to make friends with trolls and I wasn't even able to talk to them because I couldn't see them. So I had to actually go and find myself some night vision goggles in order to be able to see them and commune and share a dram of water. My goodness, you really blew through all three trolls as if they were nothing. We're, we're only 10 minutes into this. Dead. We didn't even check the rep. <laughs> We're now favored by a village we haven't even gone to. Oh, wait, actually, oh, we have Shem gone to Shemershan. Oh, Shemershan. That sounds familiar. Yeah, we've been to Shemershan. And... 
Snapjaws like us slightly more. Slightly, yeah. They they mostly just hate us. Well, well done. You've uh, destroyed. I think trolls. this is a. Well, I I wouldn't celebrate that hard. We have a long way to go. Bethesda Sousa is very deep. But we got ourselves a gold key, and fun fact, once we've unlocked those doors, we can actually sell the bronze, silver, and gold key. They're quite good trade goods. There it is. There it be. We have ourselves and a gold key. Door. You've killed yourself a troll three, and off we go to, uh, I don't know. Now, this floor, is it spicy? Well, it's Bethesda Sousa. We are past the trolls, and now we are in in it up to our waist. Voider? Yeah, they're interesting. Um, I don't know what would happen if you... I, I don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> it could be one of many things. This is uh, This will be interesting. Now, this guy, I don't want to hurt him. No, yeah, you don't. Try waiting a turn. See what happens. I'm going to... Alright, okay, there's that option. That's actually not a bad option. Uh, let's slug Wiz's pass from the east. So it's telling you what's happening in the next floor. So that mysterious stranger just shot at something. Um, probably the voider. And they were close enough to them. So they might actually be not there anymore. <laughs> Can I have a quick look? Oh. Whoop. Oh. Wow. I have never seen so much... Like servants of toe in in my in, ever they're just everywhere for you they're uh a series oh. villain it's a chalkboard <laughs> a rustation crabs 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 sir you got crabs <laughs> you got crabs all up in your thesda susa oh god only what the? Yeah, they cloned that Rustation. I think you're okay. As long as they're not adjacent to anyone, you won't be hurting the the Mechanimist. Mm. Oh, okay. Something. Okay, the Mechanimist is dead. I yeah. don't know why. Uh, yeah, you're fighting a King Crab. That's bad. It is not great. Where are the stairs even? Let's conk. Uh, you got teleported. Right, I remember now. Okay, yeah, we can we can stun lock a, a, a king crab. That's good. Yeah. They're We're not winning. They're much more dangerous when they have friends, and you killed all their friends. So this is good. Their friends all kind of just died. Well, that's the magic of electrical. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I don't know, the mechanist exploded or whatever? Mechanic yeah, mixed. so my theory is, okay, strange tubes. You just passed by a pair of strange tubes. Um, go down I twice. took them. You took them already. Let's look in your artifacts real quick. My theory is that Mechanimus had a rocket launcher. Hmm. <laughs> broken we can still examine it oh you can't repair it but you should be able to examine it whatever they are they're broken uh, i got it I, well there's hostiles nearby right that spider i assume i don't know they're not close enough to be a danger to you oh uh, there it is what? that's what so those guys are What's... completely a non-threat to you and in fact they'll give you quite a bit of xp they're only a threat to me mental mutation mental mutants yeah, 237 experience. Their main thing is that they poof out some n normality gas. There's going to be a lot of them also. Good, good, good. We have a luminous Kragmensch. I'm busy, sir. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh, you uh, made enemies to that. Yeah, I know. I know. It's my fault. But I'm not sorry, because electrical is amazing. I'm sorry. 
Sorry, not sorry. There you go. Okay. Okay. Heal first. Yep. You're doing quite well. Because that, that man exploded. Yeah, so I I assume what happened is he fired his rocket launcher. Um... I don't know I do how this? you did it before. You should just be able to examine it. You can fix it, spray foam it. Mm. I know. It's not a terrible use of it. You could have a rocket launcher if you want. Strange tubes. Kind of wish it would only show the things that are relevant. Already got if you break it. There you go. Missile launcher. Hey, look at those bits. I didn't. What were they? Good. There was a DD and a four. Oh. Yeah, you need a four, right? For something? I can't remember what. We, most of the the woolying did fours. All right. I don't know. Uh, it'll be in missile. I mean, unironically, it'll be in missile weapons. You might want to disassemble that chain pistol and the semi-automatic pistol. Those are good stuff. Good bits. Okay. Um, do I don't think I'll ever use it, so I'm just going to take it apart. Go for it. It's one of those things that I'm going to end up blowing myself up. Yeah. I just feel it. You're not wrong. I certainly have. A pair of steel gauntlets and a human corpse. Human corpse. Yeah, give me crab legs. <laughs> and a burned capacitor. Okay. Ooh, a scaled ape fur cloak. That might be good, actually. Um, can you tinker that? Yeah, uh, grab it. See if you can tinker it for just a moment. Humor me. You, ah, oh, damn. Was really hoping you could put reinforced on it. It might still be worth wearing. I'll tell you when it's relevant. <laughs> I assume when it gets cold. Mm, you'd think that, wouldn't you? Yes. Uh, it's actually the scaled part that Look. is interesting to me. Oh, saw hander. Saw hander. Yep, 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 yep. I hate them. No. Should I run away? Um, I think if you lightly damage, yeah, sprint away. Oh, no. God, damn it. Why is he so fast? No, please. You'd be better off shooting him. You might have a chance to kick him away. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, thank, thank goodness. All right, so. Yeah, to, 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 to recap. Saw handers are bad. Yes, I know that. I do not run away efficiently. I'm not trying to be facetious. I'm, I just hate them that much. So can I still use my weapons? You didn't lose your arms. It would have told you. Okay. Like, look at your equipment. But it did break my gauntlets. But I can fix things? Uh, I, I think it just cracked them, which is a temporary effect. Yeah, your uh, chain gauntlets are cracked, and so is your mechanical wings. It's not good. Um, but it is a temporary effect. You don't have to do anything. I can fix them, though. You can. Um, better off... Wouldn't that... You'd well, be better off to be just, just, like, get rid of these guys and do a rest, and I'm pretty sure the cracked will disappear after you're done resting. Probably the, um... Like, it's telling you you can repair them because your equipment might have gotten damaged from the missile that was fired. Uh, the cracked is, like, it's kind of a, one of those misleading things in CUD where it seems like, oh, your your weapon or your 
your stuff is damaged, but it's not really. Um, it's kind of a, uh, like, in the same way that you can stun lock, uh, in, if, when it comes to, like, axes, their benefit is that they can crack uh, equipment, which means that they're slowly wearing down the AV of whatever they're fighting enough that they can actually penetrate. Um, so that's that's their main thing. And the saw handers are basically using axes. We can check our equipment, see if it's still cracked. You're good. Okay. All righty, here we go. Carrying too much to move. All right, here we stop. <laughs> Disassemble all, right, well, all our junk. Got some scrap. Got them some scrap. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know what else we're carrying. What What's uh, taking up so much room in our artifacts? Probably a... Weird, Weird artifact. artifact. Combat shotgun. You can disassemble That's that. That's some parts. More parts. Is this scrap? Yeah. Disassemble. Not I need a club to. For some uh, reason. Yeah. Um, that's probably a, an artifact. Like, examine it. It'll probably be a stun rod of some sort. Oh my god. A slender nano pneumatic jackhammer? Yo. Is that better? <laughs> It is, uh, it's gonna be, it weighs less than a normal pneumatic jacket. Ooh. <laughs> I can't believe it. I could make it electrified. Yeah, you could. Ooh. You sure could. I won't stop you. It's probably not as good as my thing I'm using currently. There Amazing. Uh, after this episode, I'm going to see, we're going to have a look through your auto options because I, I want to know why you're not auto disassembling stuff. It's it's actually taking up way more time than it should. Boop. I don't know how they hurt you. You take eight damage from the plastronoids electrical discharge. So they also have a, a slight electrical discharge. You might want to reload while you have some time to think what the chalkboard say i don't know have a look Oop. sheared slime it's just describing it yeah uh, i guess it doesn't say anything it might maybe the other one says something no i guess not all right cool <laughs> cool thing in your game <laughs> Nice. I don't think you killed Stay it. Stay out. I didn't. You just shot it without uh, without mercy. There it is again. So those guys, uh, Voider Spiders are interesting. If you ever fight one in melee, you'll find out how or why. Voider flinches out of the way. They do have quite high DV, so shooting them is difficult. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna, I mean, we can explore this floor. Whoop. We'll do that first. Oh my god, just... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a choice. Uh, elephant? Elephant? I choose the elephant. I want an elephant. Okay. All right. All right. Um, yeah, we can, I don't know, like, if you want to fully explore. This place is rife with treasures. What's, what's that thing? Yeah, so that was the choice I was about to give you. Um, you might recognize that. It's a button. It is a button. And a chrome platform. What, what might that be? An elevator. It is an elevator. Um... So this is something I'll tell you, I'll, I'll somewhat spoil something here. It's not something you would necessarily figure out until you've done Bethesda Sousa a couple of times, but um, you can take that elevator down and you can skip quite a lot of Bethesda Sousa, um, which is fine. You do, however, 
lose out on one fairly beneficial thing. Uh, there's a NPC about halfway down Bethesda Sousa. If you take the elevator down, he just dies. Um, he can sell you some really interesting good stuff. So kind of up to you. If you want a shortcut through Bethesda Sousa, I won't stop you. I I've never done it myself. TBH. But cut it. Yeah, taking the elevator. I've never taken the elevator. We can uh, examine that. Hyperbiotic chair. I'm gonna sit in it. You can go ahead. Wow. If you rest, I think you will actually. Yeah, you you res a lot quicker in that thing. I uh, theorize that this place is basically a lab and or like hospital because there's a lot of. Um, oh, it's a bed. Yeah. There's a lot of tonics. Uh, there's hyperbiotic chairs, of course, and there's also, like, basically chambers like the one that uh, Luke hung out in uh, Empire Strikes Back. There's a, okay. There's just, like, like kind of floating pool chambers that you can... Um, ooh, what did we grab? Oh, uh, the, the mysterious stranger died. Oh, he's left his hat. He left his hat. Wide brimmed hat. Technically a fedora. I'll always remember him. <laughs> With his hat. I think that's it. There's a little bit more on the north. Actually, there's quite a bit more. And, like, you know, the best kind of uh, progress you can make in cut is safe progress. So if you can kill Kragmensch, then they're actually great. Like, very beneficial to you. Because it's like akin to free experience. I assume I don't want to walk in the brown sleepy glass. You, you might go to yes. sleep. Yeah, you probably don't want to hang out in that. But if you wait a little bit, it will go away on its own. Something fought that. Reload. You're probably going to hit those boulders now. I don't know if you can kick a Kragmensch. It'd be pretty impressive. You did it. Right as I was saying, it was probably impossible. No, well, he killed that oh. mechanist. You're doing a lot of kicking, which is pretty impressive. I'm honestly interested in what that uh, mechanist probably dropped. They tend to have some interesting stuff. I appreciate how much care you're taking not to melee them when they're close to the mechanist. I gave them so much garbage. Did not hate me. They won't hate you for killing like it they'll only hate you if you kill uh, a legendary like they may be mad with you on this floor oh that gas mask would help against the sleepy gas if you want actually you have a second empty face slot so you could wear that. that yeah heck yeah you also have a weird artifact come on make it sturdy yeah extra face Freezing painted Freezing steel. Painted steel yeah. Look. Wow. More ah, stuff on the, the glazer douches. douches darlish should have distributed a bond. Yeah. <laughs> Get over it. We found it. What's that pistol? What's that pistol? Yeah, an artifact. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know. What is it? But I've made progress. Slender drum a loaded semi-automatic. Semi wow. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Uh, disassemble. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. It does nothing. Wow. <laughs> wow. But well, what can it do? N nothing. No? It could be woolly. You can make it woolly. You can line it with wool. Hey, mister. No. No. So, um, what say you about, uh, taking the shortcut? Just more to explore on this floor, but, you know. Um, no, I mean, it sounds like the trolls are supposed to be more of a, a burden, so. I feel like they died so we could live, you know? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm talking, talking about the elevator. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, I, I, it, that went so fast. So let's take our time and... Okay, I see what you're saying. Are you leveled up? I leveled up. 
And Prince I'm inspired. Fired. And I'm hungry. And you're hungry. We could try again with Hulk Honey, Salt, and uh, Skulk. Oh, let's do it. Let's end the episode on a high. On a high note. Grab jerky. We don't need to preserve it. We've already, we've still got some stuff. Salt. Salt. Hulk, Hulk honey. honey. Skulk. There's the third thing. Skulk. Skulk. You were on it. I was on it. Done. Yeah. Uh, what the heck? Okay. Yeah. That's a weird one. I forgot that Skulk could do that. Can we I look at your... Salted buck kebab. Let's look at your equipment real quick. Mmm. Okay, you're still wielding uh, your folding hammer. This is good. The claws on my left hand. You do. I wonder, can you dig down? I can't remember if this is in cud yet. Try dig... I don't think it's going to work. No. Um, check your next page. A chance it might be on the next page. No. No, I guess not. Okay. I guess it's not in code yet. It was in the beta for a bit, but um, Burrowing Claws was uh, briefly given the ability to, to basically make a staircase, which was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, not yet. All right, well, uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And any final closing thoughts? Bethesda Sizzle. Bethesda Sizzle. Take that comment section. Trolls are nothing. Trolls, Trolls are chumps. Apparently. But bears, they're the real enemy. And a sightless way. We continue the theme of like absolutely trouncing and like backflipping through dungeons, but then getting killed by novice of the sightless way. They just, they really get to me, you know? They do. They really get me. They get in your head. Yeah. Uh. See ya.